from Mexico to Malibu. So this is gonna be a bit of a rant, pros and cons of living in the United States. I've got to share it. I can't go on any longer. Okay, so you get a different feeling and perspective about the United States when you've been gone for four months living in another country. So here's what I see. Let's do the cons first. <laughs> okay, first up, is our medical system is not very good. It's expensive. If you have a lot of money, you've got perfect insurance for to the tune of thousands a month. That's not right. That's why we handled the pandemic so poorly, not to uh, put all the blame on Trump, which I usually do. Um, it's really because our system is, is broken. There's just no other word to call it. Um, so there's that, that's a big con. Um, the speed and the consumerism. I was just sitting in Malibu at the end of the pier. Interesting to watch all the clothing, the fancy shoes, the stuff. <laughs> and. Hey, myself included, I used to be very concerned about what I wore and shoes and all of that. But when you're in that culture, you kind of get caught up in it too much. Like it's too important, like you really need that cashmere sweater so badly. Um, glad I bought so much though, <laughs> because I didn't have to buy any more sweaters ever again. Um, I did get one in Nepal for about one quarter of what you would pay here in the United States. Um, the traffic. Wow. I've never... Um, traffic in Hawaii is pretty bad, but it's not rude. Like, here you put on your directional, you've got plenty of time to get over into the next lane on the freeway. Nope. The people just pass you by on right and left sides and act like they didn't see you. They need to be one car ahead of you. So this is my first weekend traffic in Los Angeles and I don't like it. It's too much traffic, lines everywhere. The places that I hang out, there's lines of people um, getting outdoor mimosas, two for $37. I almost dropped. <laughs> um, at the place that I pay $5 for a cafe macchiato. I mean, really? $37 for two cocktails that aren't even that special? I, could, I thought I misheard it. Okay, so the cost factor, like, what are you getting for that? I mean, when I lived in Silicon Valley, I paid top dollar for everything, and I just got used to it. But I had a big income, so... It didn't seem so bad, but um, you have to consider the cost if you want to live in California anyway and have a reasonable lifestyle or pretty much anywhere in the States. I mean, there's a lot of expense in every state of things that you don't know until you're living there. Like electricity can be a lot if you don't have solar, um, going out to eat, housing, of course, is the big one. Okay, so I guess the pros are you really can start your own business, which is exactly what I did, and it's made for that kind of culture economically. Um, so capitalism is alive and well here, um, and that's a good thing. But going back to the cons, um, the problem is that like several people have said to me, oh, my life didn't change that much during the pandemic. Well, that's because you have a layer of wealth cushioning your reality. But a lot of people don't have it that soft. Um, and it's kind of like, you know, a lot of wealthy people, I think, are like, well, I got mine. So, you know, those people over there, um, it's kind of like, oh, we don't want socialism. Well, that's because you've already got your expensive insurance in your house that you bought 20 years ago and it's all paid for. I mean, it's just, I've got mine and it doesn't matter about you. That That's pretty pervasive here, I think. Um, now, okay, 
I gotta say, there is a system in place to help people that are in hard times. Um, you know, Medicaid, food stamps, and that is not a possibility in Mexico. I mean, people are just begging on the streets because there's no infrastructure to pay for that. I did find that out. So if you saw a woman on the street with a baby, you might want to give her some money. Um, but anyway, about the pros and cons, um, it is a beautiful country. That's a big pro. And I'm heading out to nature pretty soon, I think, because the city life is its good, except when you're in the traffic. So um, I'd much rather be in the trees. And uh, it is pretty in Malibu to be by the ocean. It's a gorgeous spot. I like it better on the weekdays <laughs> when it's not inundated with fancy dressed people um, promenading, although it was entertaining to watch, I have to say. More videos from my van. Um, <laughs> I love my van. It's working so well. So, if you're thinking of moving to the United States and you have a question, hey, let me know because um, I, I might be able to help you let me know here on YouTube and I'll get back to you with a reply. What do you find are the pros and cons? Oh, another pro, I just thought of one. Um, it, it's pretty easy to get deals on flights. So that's something nice for me with my life um, from the United States. You can't always get them. You can also get deals in Europe. It's sort of a complicated country. Um, so, I'll see you in the next video. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for all the likes, subscribes, and comments. One more thing. Los Angeles does give you the beach, especially Malibu. So here you go. So that's a big pro. Look at this beautiful beach with nobody on it on a Saturday. So there you go.